The Bible says the way to sin is death. If we continue in our sin, we're going to die in our sin. Lying, stealing, adultery, homosexuality, sodomy. You must repent of your sins. You must repent of your abomination. You must repent of abortion. You must repent of your sins. Or else you're going to perish in your sin. We come here to love our neighbor and to call you to repent and turn to the love of God. Only Jesus can save you of your sins. Turn. Turn from your wickedness. Turn. We worry about we worry about national security. But the greatest threat of national security is God because we rebel against God. Lying, stealing, homosexuality, abortion, rape, incest. Repent and turn to Jesus Christ and have life. Or else you will perish in your sins. Turn to the love of God. Jesus Christ can set you free. We don't want you to perish in hellfire. That's why I come here to love my neighbor. Love you. I love you. I love my enemy. I love you to tell you to repent and turn to Jesus Christ. We don't want you to perish in hellfire. Cry out to God. Turn to the love of Jesus Christ and be set free. Or else you will perish. God, people are dying because of lack of knowledge. That's the problem with this nation. See, this book is called a Holy Bible. This is the problem in this country. We don't want to read our Bible. We got them on our shelves with dust on them. We got them at home. Use them as bookmarkers or whatever you use your Bible for. It's horrible. You might even use it for a cup holder. That's the problem with this country. We use our Bible, but we really don't use it. Wiping dust off is not using your Bible. You must open your Bible. You must read your Bible. You must obey. That's the problem with this country. That's why this country's going to have wrath of God, a holy God the universe, fall upon it. We teach evolution in the high schools, all through, all through school, elementary school, we teach evolution. Oh, wasting taxpayers' money. Horrible. You must repent. And teach that God is the creator of the heavens and earth. Turn to Him, have life. Turn to Jesus Christ and live. Don't be deceived of your wickedness. Don't be deceived that saying that homosexuality is okay. Homosexuality is against God. We're trying to protect sin of homosexuality and make hate crime laws. What about the old lady that gets beat up and they don't have no crime against her? Him that beats up the poor lady or the black person, but you want to protect homosexuality, which is sin. Sin. What about the poor babies being pulled out of their mother's womb? You want rights. Where's the rights of the, the babies being ripped out of their mother's womb? Where's the rights for them? But the homosexuals want rights? Repent and turn to Jesus Christ. I used to be a homosexual, and Jesus Christ set me free, and I am free indeed. I am not a homosexual no more. I am free. I've been free. I have a track record for over 12 years. I'm married to a beautiful woman. I got beautiful kids, one on the way. I'm a family man. I'm set free of my wickedness. Jesus Christ set me free. And you can be free indeed of homosexuality, of being a lesbian, a sodomite, a pervert, a masturbator. Repent and turn to Jesus Christ who can set you free. Don't be deceived by your lady pastors. Oh, don't be deceived. Especially when God says a woman should be in charge of a man. Repent and turn to God. We wonder why ladies want to be like men. Some cases are because of abuse, and I feel bad because that's horrible. Ladies get abused, they become lesbians. But the lesbians got to repent and realize that they're rebelling against God, and God is willing to forgive them. And there's people, ladies, that want to be just like men, to be high up in corporations, not take the role of a woman. A woman's supposed to be a homemaker. A woman's supposed to take care of the home and the beautiful children that she's, that she's raising. That's an awesome job. Schedule on me awesome job sure. for ladies. I can never raise my kids like my wife. But lesbians really sure. want to be in charge of corporations. Uh, women wants to be in charge of men. Know, That's not the way it is. Essentially, it winds Turn up Turn to here, Jesus Christ and be set free. Turn to the Alpha Omega, okay. beginning and end, and turn to the love of Jesus Christ. Homosexuality is sin. Turn to God. Turn to the Bible. Turn to the Holy One. Turn to the Righteous One. Read your Bible. It has gold trim on it, maybe like mine. This is what it looks like. You may have red trim on your...
Make sure you keep an eye on what's going on. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived by your perversion. Don't be deceived by your witchcraft, your homosexuality, your sodomy. But Jesus Christ can set you free. You don't have to be a pervert anymore. Turn to the love of God. Have life. Turn to Jesus. Jesus Christ, who can set you free of your homosexuality. It's time to repent and turn to a holy God. Or else you're going to face the judgment of God. Repent and turn. Turn from your homosexual lifestyle like I did. And be free of being a homosexual, a sodomite. Stop being a pervert, a homosexual extremist. Repent and turn to Jesus Christ who can set you free. Repent! Turn! Turn to the love of God! Or else you're going to wind up in hell forever as I was a homosexual. But Jesus Christ sets me free! I am straight! I love my wife! I live for the King of Kings! Lord the Lord! Don't be a homosexual extremist! Repent! 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 Repent!